morning guys i um just got done eating breakfast and i kind of slipped up out the room from my wife for a minute just to you know make a little video video talk to you guys haven't been on here in a while um but uh actually everything's been you know going pretty good but we trying to just get some things in place that's why i kind of been off the camera she hasn't posted too much and uh you know just been really really busy and um mentally it's pretty stressful uh in the um in the direction we're going but uh i ain't come on here for all that but just letting you guys know why we haven't been posting a whole lot you know it's just been a lot of things been going on i just wanted to talk to you guys and um tell you my story about me coming out my family's reaction my friend's reaction first off uh, i'm mp tulips freedom so if y'all didn't know you know i just wanted to introduce myself in case there's some new people on here just wanted to let you know who i was i knew at a very 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 early age that i liked women i when I was in the first grade, I used to just look at my first grade teacher. Mind you, my first grade teacher was a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. And um, she had blonde hair, a nice, uh, what's that lady, Beckham cut. Weird, I, I didn't even know that was the type of cut, but a uh, asymmetrical cut, real slick. She used to wear uh, these stretch pants and um heels this little red lipstick she had like a, a tan and she was white but she had like a really gold uh golden tan or something like that but i always wondered like how the fuck she this color and the rest of the teachers at the school just white just super white but she caught my eye and i didn't even know what i was feeling or why I used to look at her. She used to smile a lot. And this one thing she did the most that made me think she liked me. Mind you, I'm in the first fucking grade. But she used to wink a lot and smile. That shit, like, attractive as fuck. And it kind of, I don't want to say turn me on. Because I don't know what the fuck turn me on was. But it made me feel, like, a little bit different. So I knew I liked my first grade teacher. Then I know something else was a little bit strange with me. When she came to school... Uh, uh, a while later and um, she said she got married and I kind of was like oh okay who, who, who was the guy but anyways she got married and I was kind of salty about it that's real crazy so was I fucking psychotic or what then I had to go to second grade and um, it's crazy but I didn't want to tell y'all but I do want to tell y'all I flunked the I think I flunked the second grade or something. They put me back in first, so I was kind of glad. But that made that's that's kind of like dumb as hell. But I was glad to see her again. But uh, I don't know if she was glad to see me. But I knew I was like I like this woman. Anyways, I had a lot of little friends growing up in school. A lot of girlfriends. I hung out with the boys. I played ball. Uh, I play football all the time, tag football, all this in elementary school. This one particular time, I spent a night by a dear friend's house. She's my best friend. She uh, is no longer living. Um, but um, it was one time I spent the night over there, and we were sleeping on the floor. Made pallets on the floor. You know how kids make pallets on the floor, be playing this and that. So... We was playing, but I think she started playing a little bit too much. Mind you, I did like girls, but it's fucked up. I didn't like her, and she was my best friend. We were playing on the floor, tussling around, having fun, doing what kids do. Somehow, in the middle of the night, she rolled over by me and started humping my leg. And I kind of sat there for a minute, letting her... But I was like, this shit don't feel right. I don't like it. I told her to stop that I didn't like it. Then, 
uh, I end up like I wanted to go home, but I didn't tell her right away. You know, I kind of waited. I did stay over there one more night, but I was really trying to find a way to get out of there. She, her and her mom then went somewhere and left me and her brother there. And um, he was kind of older. And um, some fucking reason, I don't know what the fuck happened. Dude tried to hunt me. I knew instantly, like, dog, gone. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was trying to rape or whatever the fuck going yeah, on. Yeah, he got, got up off me. Wasn't nobody close. I was like, he tried to just grind me or some shit like that. And it was just like, gone, dude. What the fuck? What's up with that? But I never told on him. I never told on her. I ended up going home and kind of never just went back over there. But she was still my friend. Used to, since I didn't go by my friend's house anymore, I used to play outside a lot, you know, by the house, on the side of the house where my mom, the living room was right above where I was playing. So she would hear me playing. I had a brother and sister, but I liked playing by myself because what I liked to pl play, they didn't want to play. I uh, actually started teaching myself karate. You know, just, I'm a girl, I'm just into all this shit, making karate sticks, uh, uh, trying to get a, a, one of them karate stars, all that type of shit. I had the karate shoes, uh, uh, the pants, all that. I used to even stuff my pants in the socks, but I used to practice karate on the side of the house. So, mind you, my mom is upstairs in the window, she could hear me, she be hollering down there sometimes, like... Bring your ass up in here to come and do something, this, that, and the other. But uh, I'm out there playing, having a good ass time by myself. My mom takes it upon herself. And hop my mama got a big ass voice, a big ass, loud ass voice. And um, she hollers out the window. I don't even think she got up to come to the window. I think she was hollering from the fucking couch that was in the living room far from the window. And um, she hollers out the window and says... Do you want to have a dick? And I just, I was so, I, I now I knew that's what she said, but I tried to act like that ain't what she said. Uh, and I just kind of got stopped in my tracks. And I'm like, why the fuck my mom say that? What the, like, my mama say any damn thing. And so I'm like, I instantly was like, no. You know, howling up at the window, no. And so I kind of. Thought about it for a minute, then continue playing. I was probably like about 10. I think I was 10. As time went on, I got in middle school. I had another friend. Best friend. I ain't gonna say no names or none of that stuff. But we used to be together 24 set. If she didn't come to school, I wanted to fucking cry. If I didn't come to school, she wanted to cry. Glued to each other hip. I joined basketball, she joined basketball. I was on track, she joined track. Uh, anybody mess with her at school, I'm ready to fight. All that type of stuff. You know how you had a little best friend like that. She didn't know that I was liking her. I had a crush on her. We used to spend a night back at each other's house. I couldn't wait to do the spend a night part. I used to spend a night at her house first. And, um... We used to play wrestle, you know, all that old shit, play and wrestle. And um, for some reason, her motherfucking titty always end up showing. And I saw it, and she kind of look at me like, I see you looking at me, but kind of laugh it off. And she might shove me on my titty and say, go on, you know, like that. Like, you know, and I'm like, I ain't like how that felt when you shove me. But I like when we wrestle and I kind of slid across short. I'm 13 or 14 now. And so she spent the night at my house. When she spent the night at my house, it was on in my room. And um, I remember it was dark as hell in the room. It was, you could see the moon just shining in the room. And it was hot as fuck. We had no, kind of no air. We just had a fan. And so, you know, the cover's halfway off. Your motherfucker barely sleeping in something. She got on this loose-ass tank top titty flopping out the side or somewhere. It's dark, but that, that moonlight was kind of a glare on her so I can kind of see her. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I'm just, you know, really trying not to pay that shit no attention. But something came across me that night and... and, and 
got to me. I don't know what the fuck it was. She, we end up going, well, one nobody sleep, one nobody sleep, but she was facing a certain a, another way and i was facing her way like why the fuck would i be almost trying to spoon her like that's some weird shit shit was just going through my fucking head my heart beating and shit i'm kind of sweating a little bit like this shit she let me hug her she let me i'm kind of scooted close to her booty shit like that and all this shit running through me and i'm like what the fuck i'm supposed to do what 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 i do next she turns over and faced me and it was a fucking pause out of this world the shit was so so i was so motherfucking like tripping like she facing me her titty uh came kind of out of her blouse a little bit uh, just a little bit my crazy ass scooted down a little more like my head went down here some like as if i was uh, hot and trying to get comfortable, you know, stretching all that old type of shit. I'm like, so I got close. I felt my lips touching the skin just a little, like super little bit. It probably was my hot ass breath in between. Didn't thought it was my skin, but um, I end up. I said, "Fuck it." I try to suck it. It lasted for probably three motherfucking seconds. And she backed up like, what are you doing? We can't, we ain't supposed to do this stuff. What you doing? I was like, my ass was like, gone. Be quiet. Don't, man, come on. You know what I'm, I, I tried to like punk her into letting me suck her titty. Like, I, I tried to laugh it off like, oh, that ain't... This ain't nothing. Come on. I kind of left it alone because, I mean, that's the farthest I was going to go. I didn't know shit about shit. As I'm getting a little bit older, I'm like, okay, boys starting to like me. You know, uh, I'm on the ball team. I'm looking how I'm looking right now. They starting to look at me. The girls looking good to me. And I'm kind of like... What what um you know what I'm saying? What I'm supposed to do? You know, I mean, I knew what I wanted, but I also knew what I wanted seemed like a fucking secret. The shit all seemed like a damn secret. Like I was liking women, girls undercoverly, but then the boys, the guys who were liking me, um, I'm like, okay, okay, I like you too, and we end up, I end up liking a particular dude you know he ended up liking me and it would just seem so jokey jokey me and him that it wasn't no no feeling feeling like oh i want to kiss you on your neck or i want to uh, feel on your booty type stuff it was more like okay we met this and that okay um i like you like me and my point was like okay get down to business we're gonna i'm gonna do something and, and that's just you know what i'm saying that's just what happened and um and i'm like uh okay this is all right it was like a bump 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 and that's it and then we cool still and he he and hi hi and then i'm like uh, i don't know if y'all remember the word y'all but got played and you got borrowed or all that type of stuff no he ended up telling me ah uh, you borrow i don't want you no more this and that so i'm like no you borrow first i, I borrowed you first all that old type of shit so that's how that kind of went in middle school moving on to high school um there were some sexy women at high school but they all had boyfriends everybody had boyfriends but uh I didn't care that I was on the ball team. Um, I was the star ball player. And if y'all didn't know that, I do know how to shoot little hoops. But uh, now I ain't about shit though. And so I met this other girl. She was a hoe. Now this chick was a hoe with dudes. You know, she wasn't gay, wasn't none of that going on. So, but me and her hung out a lot in school. For some reason, I think she looked at me to protect her from the other girls who didn't like her because they was kind of jealous of her because she was really pretty. And um, we hung out a lot. I end up, I end up uh, going to her house a lot. 
and I would go over there because she wanted to talk about her boyfriend so fucking bad like her boyfriend how she uh do what she do so I'm listening to her but I'm also looking at her like looking at her like oh I want to kiss her you know little shit like that and uh but I'm like I can't kiss her she sucking dick and shit she doing all this type of stuff and um, she come to school, done caught a fucking disease and shit. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know. The women, she was the first nasty ass woman I, nasty ass woman I ran into and didn't realize it. Now mind you, I'm on a fucking school bus. The school bus crowded. She wanted to sit with me on the school bus because we was on our way home. And she couldn't sit with me because the bus was full. So she sat kind of like right here in another seat. I'm sitting there. Was I writing a letter? Was I looking at some? Or was I asleep? I cannot remember. But she was so motherfucking bold that she came and bit me on my neck. That was the best fucking feeling I ever felt. Like and I was mad at the same time, but it was a good mad. And I didn't know how to handle the shit. I really didn't know. And, um, but I was like, why you do that? And, you know, motherfuckers looking like, oh, you know, I had to put on this whole motherfucking front. But I also was like, oh, that shit feel good. I, as I, as I got older in the high school, I knew what time it was. But I didn't have the, the guts for any of the shit. Any of the shit. So, I end up, uh... It was one particular guy who just wouldn't leave me alone. Wouldn't leave me alone. Didn't give a fuck how I look or whatever the fuck. You know, all that old type of stuff. And um, I started dating him. But I, he used to kind of all my basketball practice just sit there. Make sure I had something to eat. Watch me to the beginning, to the end. He used to hang out in the fucking hallway. Just looking at me in class. All types of shit. He was a little older guy from me. And um, he lived across the street from the school. I end up uh, dating him, but didn't never ended up doing anything with him because I was scared. I was scared at the fucking time of like going all the way. He was older. Now I lay with him. I was next to him, and and and. You know, his shit hard. I'm like, oh, hell no. I ain't gonna put that shit up. You know, it, it just was crazy as fuck. Like, for about two, almost three years, me and this dude laid down and ain't never did nothing. And um, I'm like, damn, what's wrong? Am I just scared of the shit? Or do I not want the shit? I, I couldn't. I, I it, it wasn't a pressure. It wasn't no pressure. So it just never happened. But he ended up moving to Rockford, and then I met, I do, I, I have a child. I have a child. And um, I met my child's father uh, after school. Or, no, I was in a senior. Yeah, I think I was a senior. Something like that. And um, I started dating him. That's how that went. But I only dated him for like uh, six, seven months, and... That wasn't my flavor. That wasn't my thing. So I had to dump him, find out I was pregnant. But, uh, I was going to get an abortion on my way to the abortion clinic. Come to find out uh, my grandfather was a protester out there, standing out there. My mom calling me on the phone at the same time, talking about Michelle, uh don't do it i'll take the baby you might not never can't have kids in life just this whole shebang money wasn't an issue wasn't nothing an issue i just didn't want no kids basically i end up keeping them and my mom did what she my mom i i had them but i wasn't attached to them so um i love my son dearly so don't get that twisted like i'm you know this crazy ass parent and my adult age 19 to 20 i end up meeting you know women i was too young to get in the bars to the gay bars so it was a lot of women on the streets coming at me and i wasn't out yet i'm doing all this shit in secrecy i'm telling women who coming at me 
I'm a girl. You know, they could see me back then. It was pay phones. I'd be on the pay phone and head turned, hat to the back. They'd be like, hey, yo, you, you, hey, cutie, you know, all that stuff. And I turn around like, I'm a girl. I'm a girl. What the fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? But I went to jail at uh, 19. I had went to jail at 19. And um, I was in jail. And then that's when I started seeing actually girl on girl like this shit. Like, ooh, she look good. She look good. She look good. Her ass big as hell. Her ass fat. Ooh, this and that. So I felt all like I was the top motherfucking dog up in there. And um, it was plenty of women liking me. But I have not ever experienced no sex. No fully blown sex with no woman. None. And this is going to be the first time I put this shit out here. I ain't told nobody. My wife don't even know. My first, my first woman experience was in jail. The older lady, I'm gonna say. She was liking me. I, I think I was liking her, or I was just liking her because she was a woman, and I was like, oh, it's an opportunity to be gay, like for real, for real, like you know, crazy. But uh, we end up being. I think, was we sell Mason? No, I can't remember. I was playing a motherfucking role like I've been gay. I've been had experience I with, with eating pussy, all that type of shit. Lying like a motherfucker. Just straight lying. But I did something with her to her. And she ended up, after this shit happened, I didn't even want to look at the bitch no more. I didn't even want to look at her. I didn't even want to talk to her. But mind you, we locked up. And and I'm like, fuck. I don't even want to, you know, oh, I don't, I don't like you. Not that I didn't like what I had did, but I didn't like her no more. None. Crazy. She turned into a motherfucking stalker in jail. We happened to get out the room from each other. She turned into a fucking stalker. And um, I didn't want to tell her. You was my first motherfucking woman to have sex with. I didn't want to tell her that because I had told her that, you know, I've been doing this type of shit. You know, all that old type of stuff. And, um, so, being in jail, all that old type of stuff, I ignored her. And she finally left me alone. And so now, I'm feeling like I got some experience under my belt. So, through jail, I end up dating you know, a couple of people. And, um, my mom, them, you know, people coming to jail who knew me from the streets. You know, I was in the streets. I was a street person. And so, uh, quite a few people end up coming to jail that knew me off the streets. They, I'm seeing them in the fucking cut watching me like, you being good. I don't know what the hell happened, but, um, I had to get some stuff deleted because it, uh, the camera stopped. But anyways, like I was saying, um, I was in jail and all this stuff had started and I'm walking through there now like I'm fully gay. And There were people in there from the same neighborhood that I came from, which nobody knew about me having relations with women you know well in jail so i st my family coming to visit me my mom my sister um they brought my little son you know he was one at the time yeah one at the time and uh they come to visit me and uh on one particular visit, my sister and my mom were looking at me funny. And I'm like, but at that time, in my head, I said on this visit, I'm going to tell them. I, I need, I got to tell them. You know, uh, you know, I'm just going to tell them, fuck it. You know, I had felt confident enough just to tell them, you know. So, but they was looking at me funny. My sister says to me, Hey, Michelle, um, I don't want to ask you something, but I don't want you to get mad. And, 
you know, all star snapping out and all that type of stuff. And I'm looking at her. My mama just sitting there looking like she looking at a good ass movie, something fun to go down. And um, my sister says, well, a lot of people on the streets been um saying that you up in here being gay. And uh, I'm like. I just paused and I said, mm. I said, well, I said, who said that? You know, she telling me that nice, this and that. And I'm like, yeah, that's the motherfuckers. Them bras, they told such and such. And now they, you know, they telling my family, my cousin, you know, everybody just really defending me like, nigga, you ain't gay. My cousin ain't this and that, this and that. You know, my cousin's defending me like that ain't what's up with her. And so... My mom, she just sitting there. She ain't said nothing yet. And so, after my sister got done explaining to me, this is what's going on in the streets. This is what she hearing. They're saying that I'm doing stuff and, you know, like that. So, I looked at my sister confidently and I was like, oh, it's true. It's true. She looked at me and started crying up a fucking storm. My mama didn't have no tears, no nothing. My mama looked at me. I looked at my mama. She said, Michelle, I'm going to love you regardless. I don't care what you do. If that's what you like, that's what you like. My sister, you can't be doing that, Michelle. No. They talking about us. They, you know, this, that, and the other. I said, I don't give a fuck what they talking about. I don't care. You know, I'm, I'm, I didn't say I was happy. I said, I'm all right. I'm all, I, I don't care what a motherfucker say about me. So, fast forward, it was almost time for me to get out of jail. And, um, when I got out, uh, I had met somebody because I was on this, uh, work release thing or this something type of thing I was on but I had met someone in the real world um that was gay I believe you know and um she picked me up from jail I met her she picked me up from jail and um I went straight home with her had my little stuff went straight home with her because she asked me when I get out of jail because I met her coming and going you know to work from jail and um, I told her when I got out, she said, can I pick you up? So I said, cool, you you pick me up. So she picked me up. I went home, pulled up my daddy outside, my brother outside. Um, they was washing cars and stuff like that. So I get out, my daddy looking like, who the hell is that you with? Who is that? Because he looking like, he looking like, he was being nosy, but he also was looking like, she know too good to be with you. you. I mean, what you doing with her? How you know her? You just got out of jail. And so, I looked at him for a minute. And he was, didn't, no, no. I looked at him. I didn't even say shit yet. My dad was like, that's your girlfriend? Oh, you, you gay? You gay now? Then my daddy don't say gay. He say dyke. A bull dagger. He say shit like that. And um, I always hated that word. But my daddy say shit like that. And um, I introduced him. And uh, he clung to her real fast. You know, like that. And um, he pulled me to the side. And uh, I said, Michelle. It, my daddy crazy. He said, Michelle, why you finna come this way? They going back that way. Meaning, they finna go back to a nigga. They finna go, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where the fuck he got this from, but that's just what my daddy said. And I'm like, man, you know, this and that. So, life started going on for me. I've been out for 20, 22 years, 23 years. And um, I was in, how many relationships? I was in four relationships. Four, four relationships. Five, five. And two of them was, you could put them together, that was a year. And then I was with my baby for, for, for 
12 years. So I kind of was in a relationship kind of consistently, you know, like that. But uh, I had these relationships and it was serious, but uh, all of them, the, the four, end up uh, never ever dating other women. Um, they ended up uh, marrying, got guys. And I met my wife, you know, who I married, you know, and been with since. And, uh, you know, basically, oh, I didn't, I didn't tell you about how my friends, I'm sorry, I went too far ahead. But so when I end up getting out, and I'm end up running around with this chick, this particular chick that picked, you know, I started dating. Uh, she was quite older than me. And um, when I went around my friends, my homies, I left her in the car, you know, to say, hey, I'm out, you know, this, that, and the other, you know. They looking over my motherfucking shoulders like, that's such and such. That's such and such. You know her? Yeah, I know her. Like, so... I didn't come and tell them, y'all, I'm gay. This what the fuck I'm doing, all that shit. It was just going to be said when you see me coming and who I'm coming with. You knew what time it was. But before I could say any motherfucking thing, everybody else knew her but me. And that was a shocker. Like, what the fuck, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So, everybody accepted me. They was cool. Next thing you know... My whole neighborhood, the girls that was sleeping with dudes and being with dudes and being little tramps on the block, they all started this I want to be gay shit with Michelle. Every girl in the neighborhood wanted to be gay with me. Like it was a fad or fashion or some shit, but it was crazy. I was just on and popping from then, but I... Really, really thankful that it wasn't hard on me or it didn't make me feel unloved, unwanted by anybody once I was fully blown with it and 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 honestly let everybody know this is what it is. And everybody accepted me with love and respect and, and all that. And you know what I'm saying? So it really wasn't difficult, but I made it difficult up in here. This This, I made it difficult up in here. But um, I just wanted to tell y'all my story. I know it's crazy. I hope it wasn't all over the place. I hope y'all was able to follow uh, with me through the whole thing. Understand where I came from and where I'm at now. But uh, gotta go. And I'm um, glad you sat in with me and just listened. And um, I'll try to make some more videos on my life. You know, I'll let y'all know a little bit more what's going on. So peace out. Talk to y'all later. They can't figure me out. Whoa. Yeah, I'm different.